Hey there, gamsters and ch 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 channer. Welcome, ba 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 ba. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to you there, madam or sir. Master or Missy, whatever the case you'll be. Games and more channel here. Alright, we're gonna play some more Red Dead 2 story mode. Uh, American Distillation, if I'm saying that right. So with all that, let's get to it there, darn. Okay. It takes me a little bit more to do uh, my intro like that. But, as you'll see, this is at 11.24 p.m. Uh, by the time I get this thing out, it's going to be uh, over 5 o'clock in the morning. Now, I stopped doing these for a little while. Uh, I've seen on my last one I did on the Red Dead Redemption 2 story mode. We only had 16 views on it, so I figured nobody was interested in it anymore. That's what I I took from that. And we did it on March 10th the last time, so that's almost a month. Let's see if we get can, can get more than 16 views on this. I mean, that's just the way I took took that. So it's all good. It's all good. Just trying to make everybody happy. People say I don't play enough shoot 'em up bang bang games. Well, here's a shoot 'em up bang bang game. Why don't you do them in live streams? Oh, why don't you ask the guy that, uh, or the kid, when I put out a um, preview of it, of a live stream of uh, the night that this came out, that he had my live streams accreditation pulled for uh, about three weeks. Him and his five buddies. All right, let's get to this. Enough of that. Now, this right here. You're going to go on your map to get to this. Now, this is after you get into the new town here. And these sheriffs are dumber than a box of rocks. No offense to a box of rocks. But you're going to go on the Dutch mission. You're going to go into roads. Like I said, these sheriffs are dumber than a box of rocks. I could sell these people oceanfront property in, in the state of Ohio. And they would buy it. I guarantee you. They would buy oceanfront property in the state of Ohio. Interesting. Thinking they're getting a beachfront thing. And I could probably make a heck of a profit on it. All right, my horse. Let's go feed him or her. And we're going to speed this puppy up as usual. Now, um, if I had a chicken, it's going to be going along here real quick. Here in a, in a couple seconds or two. Hey, we're just doing it like this. You can't even tell that is if I had a chicken, I got that sucker going fast. See? I gave my horse super oats. Super oats. Yeah, right. I, it's called editing. Editing, I tell you. No, I don't think it's that building. Right here we are. All right, we're back to normal. I'll be of back. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. <laughs> Losing your employment like that. But still... 
Here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. I think the sheriff's been hitting a little bit too much of that sauce. Here we go. Let's get up here and uh, ride along. Let's go. How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey, Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners? Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites? Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But. I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yeah. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. Do you see that wagon? All right, let's scope this out. Let's see what happened. Let's see what happened here. Oh, why can't I pillage this thing? You'll see. You can't pillage it. Mm-hmm. You could try washing once in a while. Exactly. Take a bath. There you go. No. This must have happened recently. This ain't good. Hey, come have a look at this. Too bad we didn't get to that stagecoach beforehand. Suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. 
Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. All right, this dumb dumb deputy sheriff is going to make you uh you drive. You're going to take the reins while he just tells you where to go and reads the map. Now, I try to get on here, right? And it puts me back to my horse, who's been following us. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Why do I always got to drive on the second thing? All right, let's go. Frederick Mitchell, Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor fella. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. A bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep, not the nicest fellas in my experience. Go right at the crossroads. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. They're right again here. To drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I would. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up and take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. All right, you got to get real sneaky, sneaky here. Joe doesn't do good, sneaky, sneaky. You'll see. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. Oh, handle this. Well, the way I said... Actually... Let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? All right, you got to pick right and left, and I should have picked right, but I pick left. This does not work out well, as you'll see. I did not get sneaky, sneaky. Let's stop these Too good. Filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. Uh huh. You will see. I will mess up. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. I, I think we should just be able to shoot them. See one by the bridge over there. Yeah, he's guarding the wagon here. Oh, you get to play with dynamite, too. Spoiler alert! You get to go boom, boom. Now, here's where I muckled up. I thought I was sneaky, sneaky enough. I should have sneaked behind the tree. To Uh-oh. And, and he does that. And I do that for the next couple times. Well, let's get into the next scene. Which we end up like this. All right. Carry your new prisoner to the paddy wagon. 
who's probably been sampling some of the uh, moonshine. He looks pretty drunk to me. Go across this little footbridge. Watch it. You'll fall off this thing easy. This thing, you can go into that mucky water easily. Yours truly has done that. Just drop him with the others. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. I think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about these. <laughs> that is the last oh. time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, um... Years ago, they was the... Okay, uh, why Dutch and Officer Dimwit over here is discussing whatever. We're gonna go blow up some moonshine stills. Oh, yeah. I reckon one or two sticks should do. I'll deal with the other stills. As you were, Private Williams. Shut up. All right, you look at it. It's right over here to the right. That big red mark. All right. Get you. Go into your inventory. And make things go boom, boom. Oh, shut up. No, that ain't gonna work. Right here. Just a second. Bonsai, kitty, kitty, chop, chop. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's that's the uh, toll keepers right there. If you seen me a uh, few uh, videos back on this. All right, you're going to get into a gunfight. You know, you're going to get into a gunfight with these guys. Oh, sure. How many of these I got left? Well, that just took a whole bunch of them out. Oh, the dynamite works pretty well, I think. Watch your health. It won't let you do friendly fire. You can't kill that other guy. Your surely has tried this. Really? One little two little three little dum dums four little five little six little dum dums. Here you go. This is get get them as they first come off of there. Seven little eight little nine little dum dums. Boy, some people just never learn with me, do they? Okay, my editing was a little bit off. Yeah, just put them on a the pile. Put another dummy on the pile. Oh, slow mo. Slow mo, I love it. I think I ought to drink some uh, health tonic here. Yeah, you and what army? There's not many of y'all left. Give me a rocket launcher and I can. Give me a rocket launcher. I'll clear this out. 
Yeah, okay, horsey. You got this guy here. You got another guy on the porch. Don't you ever do anything? Why do I gotta do all the all the hard work? Where are you? There he is. I don't see any more. Yeah, I don't see no more red marks either. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Yeah. Let me just loot this guy. We're getting out of here as soon as I get what he had. Oh, there's too many bodies to deal with. And the flies are still a buzzing and the bees are still a you know what. How does it feel being a fine upholder of the law? Not that different to our normal lives so far. Who were those fellers? Not sure. Probably the people they were selling to. Guess we can't ask him now. And I thought I was protective over my liquor. <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. But my cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Only I didn't, quiet. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life move on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That wasn't worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen, these two families, I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. What do you mean, young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? All right, here we go. And, of course, if I had a chicken, it's got to go fast. Ah, uh, like I said, I gave my horse super oats. But, I think Dutch had something in with my horse. He got into that hay pile. Oh, this ain't the only thing. You know. Dutch and my horse. My, hus my horse threw me off. So, 
Dutch has got something with my horse. I should shoot my horse and take his. There we oh, go. I am sorry, son. Well, spare the gloating, Dutch. Oh, I'm not a gloater. Why would I laugh at the fact that you haven't learned after all these years to ride a horse very well? That is a source of great sorrow to me. Very funny. I had fun with you today. Be well. Here? Well, I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. I'm more than that. Okay, should I be worried? All right, well, as what I usually do is just take a nap until the next day, and then I end it, and I end it. I end it. It's all good. And then we start off fresh for the next m mission. Let's see if we can, like I said, let's see if we can get more than 16 views on this one. Now, every time I'm ready to go to sleep, that old hag calls me. Arthur. And today is no exception. Exception. That old hag was calling me as I was going to sleep. All right. I thought I said morning, and it's night. Well, we can't have that now, can we? No, we need it to be morning. Anybody in for some frog leg stew? Fried frog legs. A little bit of barbecue sauce. Mm-mm-mm. Here we go. I think we got the right time this time. There we go. All right, well, you know how this is going to go. Right? Let's get ready for the outro. All right, it's midnight. So you'll see what time we get this on. And it starts right about now -y. So with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I thank you for watching. You like her? Give her a likes up, please. Let's see how high we can get them likes to go to adults and kitties. Everyone would love it. Feel free to leave a mature comment. Want to see more videos like this? Or other said it on the channel. Be shy. Please subscribe. See you in the next video adventure here. See ya!